Hi YouTube fans, it is I, your boy, your local Scottish Tricky, coming live at you for a nice sunshine, hot weather Star Trek official Starship collection review. And today I'm going to be doing the Akira class special issue, the USS Thunderchild, and once I get into the magazine, so here's the box for it as well. So this is the box that came in. So it's the USS Thunderchild NCC 63549, the Akira class. Uh, from which we saw in Star Trek the uh, Deep Space Nine and the Star Trek movie First Contact. So I've got the ships. Uh, once we get through the magazine, we'll get into the XL version of the Akira. And there she is. There she is right there. More than that in a little bit. And also, I will show off the differences between the, the the bigger class version of the ship and the smaller, small, the uh, uh, regular issue we got. So let's get into some reading, and then we'll get into the starships, shall we? Cool. So here is the magazine for it. So let's get into it. So she is a Kira class, and she was active from twenty three sixty five. And our length is approximately 440 meters. So what I'll do is I'll do like what I do with, with the most uh, uh, Star Trek reviews. I'll, I'll review how you mount on its stand. And then I'll write the contents and the specification. So the contents is the profile of the Akira class. And the Star Trek art of Alex Jaeger. And the... Specification of the ship, it was active from 2365. Its length is approximately 440 metres. Its weapons is phasers and photon torpedoes. Its defences is its deflector shields. It first appears in Star Trek Force Contact and it was last seen in Endgame. And it was designed by Alex Yeager. And you get a couple of shots of the Akira down below. So she's a, look, a really nice looking starship. So here's the profile of the ship. So the Akira class was part of the fleet that engaged the Borg at Battle of Sector 001. So there's the Akira there. A lovely, lovely image of the ship there. Of the light up deflector dish and the buzzard nacelles, sweet eyes nacelles. And then we have the Star Trek art of the Alex Jaeger, of Alex Jaeger. Star Trek First Contact gave a young design designer at ILM the chance to have a real influence of the franchise. And this is, I've got to say, is a beautiful artist work of the of the ship. That is really, really awesome, <laughs> beautiful artwork. That is really, really nice. So we have the Akira class was one of the several strips Alex Jaeger designed for Star Trek First Contact. Um, a film that was has his big break in the visual effects and started his association with Star Trek. At a time when most 21 year olds have uh, only just decided on a career, uh, Alex Jaeger had landed a job working in ILM's model shop. However, as he recalls, as he recalls, he was sure he uh, it was the right thing for him. Um, I was a little person laid low down on the totem pole of the model shop. I was pretty new and pretty young. Fortunately for Jaeger, around the same time there was a mass de de deployment of staff of to work on the special edition. Uh, Star Wars movies, a Star Wars movie which left the Star Trek art department in dire need of new blood. Uh, Jaeger's former boss at IOM, Jeff Olsen, was the visual effects producer on First Contact. So we have some more beautiful work. The Akira uh, was given more attention than the other ships that Jaeger designed. He had produced these drawings shown in detail from a number of different directions. So you've also got the the shots here 
for for what Jaeger did. And you've got like the Akira here, but it's half plain and half with its all details. So the Akira became an extremely popular ship that went on to feature in Star Trek Voyager. And then we have the some artist work of the different starships. So you've got the USS Cetrion, registry number, launch date and class. And then you have the another USS and then you have the USS Steamrunner revamp. So Jaeger designed an entire fleet of ships to take on the Borg. He says that they all drew on the kind of the blended shapes that had been established by design of Voyager and the Defiant. So you have all the designs of the ship. Nice little work there from Jaeger. And then you have uh, the Borg Queen here, which is a really nice image of the Borg Queen. And then you have what I uh, is the the JJ Abrams Enterprise up here. You have the JJ the JJ Prize here, the JJ Enterprise there and up here. And then you have the Matt Jeffries Enterprise down here. So when ILM uh, ILM returned to Star Trek for the 2009 movie, Jaeger played a major role in finalising the look of the new Enterprise and was responsible for working out a lot of detail that would be added to Ryan Church's concept. So we also have um, Jaeger had designed futuristic cars for the scenes that would play out on Earth in two, uh, 2009 Star Trek. When they were dropped, he reproposed re them as rail cars on Vulcan. So you have them up there. And then you have the the D7 battlecruiser. And, uh, and all that there. So you have the D7 battlecruiser, Klingon ship. You have the, uh, the USS Kelvin. And then you have what I think, yep, yeah, is the Kobayashi Maru down here. Some really, really nice images. And then we have the images from some more that Jaeger put up. So you've got like a harvest, a harvest combine, a uh, convester. A combine harvester. Uh, in the 2009 Star Trek, we see the young Jim Kirk in Royal uh, Iowa. Jaeger's original concept included Fusterectric Combine Harvester. We also see Spock's birth. And we also get to see the policeman that stops Sean Kirk as well. Images up there. That Jaeger put. And some more stuff. So that's my review of the magazine of for the Akira class. Let's get... Uh, sorry, so you get the Akira pointing upwards and Star Trek up here as well. So that's my review of the magazine. Let's get into the Star the the, the, the Akira, the wee small ship first. So this is the one we got uh, earlier in the edition of the describe uh, from Mega Moss. I think it was issue. Was it four or five or something like that? I think it was or six. Uh, but that's the Akira there, so it's 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 in the first couple uh, issues of the start of a uh, um of the Starship official Starships collection. So that's a small one, and here is the big one, the big XL, and here she is. Wow, what that is really really nice, isn't it? Really, really nice. NCC 63549 at the front. Now, as you can see, the strip doesn't say USS Thunderchild because they're taking it from um, how it appeared in uh, First Contact. And this ship did not have any um, 
registry on the first, and only had its uh, number, uh, and that was it. Not the USS Thunderchild. Um, but the amount of detail on it, it's just so so nice. I mean, look at all the you've got all the life pod uh, life pod hatches. Um, you've got Aztec on it. You've got the Starship uh, the Starfleet pennant up here. You've got another Starfleet pennant up here, which says United Federation of Planets. The windows in this are, are absolutely beautiful. Not misaligned because the windows have not got the they've not got the imprint for them, so they're actually painted or printed on the ship, which is really really nice. Uh, I'm 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 over the moon with this. Absolutely over the moon. I'm so I'm so pleased that I actually got this when I did. Uh, because apparently they were going like uh, the pre-orders were going like hotcakes. So it's uh, I just noticed that it says NCC six three five four nine on the on the pylon or the but uh, in the cell. But it's just so so nice, and it's also got the clear blue impulse engine. Uh, defector dish, and I just noticed as well the wee small one, uh, the smaller version of the ship has it as well. This is I, I, I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon with this. Uh, I have to agree that this is to be one of the best XLs other than the. Oh, it's up there, but. I'm just looking at the, the. I'll probably say this would probably be sec, second or third now uh, with the Excels Enterprise B and Enterprise C and D and the Def, uh, Defiant as well. So, yeah, I mean, this is absolutely just outstanding. Uh, and on the, uh, the, the stand, it says uh, Akira class, USS Thunderchild, NCC. Six three five four nine, and it's two nine five two a dash a. And to mount the ship on its stand, what you do is not to not, not to let it fall. That's one thing for sure. So you want to get the wee prongs, and then you just want to get that into between there, and that's it, and it's stand. And that's the ship, so nice and secure, and the stand. So yeah, boys and girls, and uh, people that su support this channel, if you like what I've done today, please give it some more support and show your thumbs, show the thumbs and the likes, um, and if you want to see more from myself or your boy, the local Scottish tricky, uh, please support the channel and please subscribe to my channel, uh, which you'll find if you hit the notification bell, you'll see the subscribe button as well. And please subscribe, and that will be brilliant. Um, for my for 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 your support for helping me, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I like I've, like I said in the last pre the, the last video, I apologize um about not getting up the Diamond Select Enterprise E. I will get that up. Um, just I've been rather really busy over the festival period. Um, but yes, I will promise you guys I will get it done. Um, uh, very very soon. So thank you very much for uh what taking time to, uh on this hot scorching day. Hopefully it's hot and nice and weather your bit, wherever you are around the world, and um yeah. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now. And as Leonard Nemo always says, like what I always say, they always end of the videos. Live long and prosper, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you later.